Well, that's all thanks to Manchester photographer Aidan O'Rourke who joins us this morning. A very good morning to you. Morning. And you're the chap responsible for the rather stunning photograph we've got in the foyer here at the Urbis, the Manchester Mega Photo. We've got some uh, pictures there. It's massive. It's wonderful. Um, how did this come about then, Aidan? Well, I was invited to go at the Beetham Tower while it was under construction and I took the opportunity to do a project which I'd been planning for quite some years because I've been interested in digital photography since 1994 and I'd always had this idea of taking a, a multiple digital photograph with huge amount of detail um, and I was looking for the right subject and the view of the Manchester cityscape from the Beetham Tower was the ideal subject so I went ahead and took one and I say one, it was one photograph but it consisted of 860 photographs so 860 photographs taken with a zoom lens. Right. So you, how do you do that? Are you very, like, still and then shot, 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 or...? That's, yeah, basically, yes. Um, I, I tried using a tripod first, but I couldn't really set it up properly. I didn't have enough control over the camera. So I just got rid of the tripod and then just did it handheld. So I started at the top left corner yeah. of the, uh, on the horizon, or the hills above Bury, and then just went in like in columns, down, and then the next column, and the next column, and so on, right. until I'd completed a, a sort of roughly 180-degree panorama. Uh, and for Urbis, uh, we, we used a section of that, um, because if, if we'd actually done the whole panorama that I took, then it would be actually three times the width of what's there. So wow. there is a possibility, maybe in the future, of doing the full width. So what you're seeing there is a 90-degree panorama. Now the fascinating thing about that picture and I suppose about Manchester as well because that picky was taken in 2006 yes. and I just have a look at it now it's interesting to see the dramatic changes since yes. already. Yes. Um, the ever-changing face of the cityscape of Manchester is frightening isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, well one of the most obvious things on the right hand side is City Tower has since been painted white that's quite striking and uh, many of the buildings that were under construction at the time have now been completed like uh, West Properties at Skyline Central, that's visible. Yeah. Tempest, I think the Tempest Tower on the left, the Great Northern Tower in the foreground, they've all been completed. And then there are other things as well, and one of the most striking things, uh, if you look now at the same scene in the top left-hand corner on the hills, uh, is the wind farm, the Scout Moor Wind Farm. Right. So have you plans to do another one then, sort of, are you going to follow this, perhaps, every couple of years, take the same again? I think that would be, yeah, that would be a good idea, yes, and I'd like to, to do different views as well, um, yes. I think it's a fantastic way of archiving Manchester's yes. changing city scene, um, but I mean, I, I love the view from Beetham Tower, I think it's fantastic, just unfortunately that majority of people won't be able to get to see it because that bar area is not open until the evening. Yeah. So it's not until night time that people can actually um, get up there yes. and have a look. This is the view from the roof, of course, right. which uh, you, know, you don't normally have access to. And it is yeah. such a shame that Manchester doesn't have a proper observation tower like Toronto or New York or whatever. Uh, I think that's something that, that we really need, a place where you can look at Manchester. Definitely, because it's so beautiful. I mean, even in a sort of standard size photograph, you'd see that it's a stunning view, but the detail in which your photographs allow us to see things, yes. it's really fascinating. You, can just and you about probably read walk past plates. it every day, and, yeah. and, and little it's, do you know how There's always something it is. to look at. And is this your stock in trade, Aidan, the uh, sort of landscapes? Uh, well, I've uh, photographed uh, Manchester and other cities since 1996, and I'm mainly interested in all aspects of the city the architecture, street scenes, transport, everything that you see out and about, you know, when you're walking through the city. Yeah. You've got some of your work here oh, now yeah. on the screen. Yeah. That's so, a film. Now, yeah. Right? yeah, it's Mancunian Way at dusk. It actually looks glamorous. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it could be Hong Kong. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, Chinatown. Yeah. yeah. Wow, now that That's looks... the River Irwell, taken 1998. It looks that like could be 1908. Yes. Good, couldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Do you have a favourite view uh, or a favourite place around Manchester, uh, Greater Manchester, in which to take photographs? Perhaps a hidden gem that you could tell us about? Mm, well, my favourite uh, place around the Greater Manchester area would be the city centre. Mm. I think there's, it's a large concentration of interesting things there and it's f familiar to everybody. But, uh, I also like taking Absolutely. landscapes I mean, as well. Urbis yeah. there and then immediately opposite you've got Cheatham School uh, music just there, which is ancient. Yes. And, you know, we've got the John Rylands Library next yes. to the brand new Bankers of Scotland. Right, yeah. It, yeah. Uh, juxtaposition is fantastic. Yes, yes. I, I like all that. I like the contrasts and, uh, and the fact that it's changing. There's always something new. And, of course, there are lots of buildings disappearing as well, unfortunately. Yes. And I try and capture as many of them as I can, but don't always manage it. Well, Aidan, your mega photo is going to be here in the foyer of Urbis until hopefully January. 
So yes. people um, can come and see this anytime they like. It's absolutely free to have a look at. And yes. it's, it is a fascinating view of our city. Uh, but what's next for you? I mean, Nikki touched on it a little bit earlier. Um, well, I'm hoping to do more mega photos and just basically just continue what I've been doing, which is photographing the ongoing developments of Manchester. Excellent. We've got your website on screen now for more information. People can go and see um, the rest of your work there. Aidan, thank you very much for coming in yeah, and seeing us. And thank you very much for the me. picture because it does make a very pleasant walk into work mm. in the morning. It does indeed. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. We're going to go into a quick break now, but coming up after that, we'll be looking through the health stories with Dr. Binoj Nair hitting the headlines. We'll see you then.